Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's your girl Lenady. Um, before we go into any details, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. And don't forget to follow my other social media platform, Facebook page, Instagram, and TikTok. Okay, so today's topic, we're going to talk about what you shouldn't tell a sickle cell patient, what shouldn't be told to a sickle cell patient. I'm really sorry. I'm looking at the bird at the window. So cute. I love birds. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the business. So last time we were talking about um we were talking about my story though we did not go into details. But even though we we'll still get there, but I just want to point out some things that you shouldn't tell us because of vision because it is going to really help you if you had a friend who has sickle cell and this video is just here to help you know what you should say and what shouldn't be said to someone with sickle cell so if you really need help i am here i will help you but before we go into any details please guys if you want to ask any questions about sickle cell or you want to know more about me you can please ask you can go to my other social media platform and just go message me I'll be glad to answer you and I'll be glad to make videos about anything that you would like okay so um, the first point that shouldn't be said to a person to a person living with sickle cell is you are lazy so this really this word it really hurts someone like you're lazy it's something that a sickle cell patient shouldn't wouldn't like to hear from someone or even from a friend or from a boyfriend or from a husband or wife or from you know a girlfriend you know this word is just something that just hits you hard so why we shouldn't say you are lazy it's because sickle cell patients are at risk of a cut and chronic fatigue there are a few reasons for this namely pain crisis reducing one's ability to get sleep also, our muted red blood cells cannot carry surface amounts of oxygen around the body, known as hypoxemia. This can cause fatigue. So, ethical patients are at risk of actual and chronic fatigue. So, why do we have fatigue? There are a few reasons for this, namely pain crisis, reducing one's ability to get sleep. When you're in a pain crisis, you know you can never get um, sleep because of the pain that you're facing you know this pain is really really sharp that you can't even get enough rest you can't even get sleep you know for example a crisis has, has attacked you maybe around zero one i don't know how you can call it or i don't know you know maybe in the night you know in the middle of the night you're sleeping and then you just feel pain crisis you're not going to sleep the whole night you're not going to sleep until morning you know and this really causes fatigue tassam you feel tassam the whole day you are not going to feel energetic or anything like that you're just going to be feeling tassam and all that stuff so because of the constant the constant of a crisis pain we have it really reduces someone's uh, ability to get enough rest and that causes fatigue so it's not because they want to feel that way it's because of something that faces because of the crisis that causes fatigue and they don't get enough rest that's why you think as if it's laziness but which is not at all the laziness so this word you're lazy it's not something that a sickle cell patient would love to feel so be careful when you're talking to a sickle cell about this stuff hope i've explained that one so the second one is um i know someone with sickle cell they died um <laughs> i know someone with sickle cell they died okay this comment okay also me for me as well i wouldn't want to hear this comment you know i know someone with sickle cell and they died you've been telling me oh you have sickle cell oh i also know somebody who had sickle cell they actually died would you really feel okay if you it was you 
if you are in our shoes would you really feel this appreciating why shouldn't tell someone that they know someone because somebody died let's hear the reason this comment gets me get on my name on my last name Secrets of patients are constantly reminded of the short end life exp- expand sorry expectance the condition brings those reminders come by way of um, lit- literature as well as our daily experience for example each time i am at admitted into the hospital and moved into intensive care is a strike reminder of the fertility of my life i'm really sorry i'm not good in pronouncing words the current pandemic is another example being at high risk of long-term complications and or death from contacting the virus is yet another reminder to secrets of patients of the severity severity of the condition so you know secrets of patients are at high risk of you know yeah the word the same died anyways (laughs) so um this word i know somebody is special and they died is just something not appreciating why because we as civil soul patients have been told that we can never live a long life we can never live up, up to teenage life we can never live up to middle age you know saying maybe 42 by 42 you've already dead and that's what people say doctors have confirmed that if you search on google they actually say that that you can die by the age of 42 but this is not really true and uh, i don't really think this they have got in enough information but anyways that's aside so you know somebody can take this thing serious by reading from the google and other stuff and this person has taken this serious and they're at high risk of dying or something like that you know and then you just come saying oh i know somebody was sickle when they died would you really think you, that person would appreciate that would you really think that person is going to have a wonderful day or are they just going to say oh really oh yeah i don't care anyways yeah i'm, I'm dying tonight i know no they don't want to die nobody wants to die everyone wants to live a long life you know so this comment is really just not appreciating and also you know this virus that we have the pandemic coronavirus this is something that's very dangerous to us you know our immune system are not that i don't i don't know if it's strong or we don't have that high immune system so the moment we just catch that virus it's, it's something that is very serious that you can even you know exactly the word died. but i'm sorry but we just have to be careful so this this is an example again of the coronavirus these guys have been told to be careful we have been taught to be careful when we go out there mask up uh follow the uh, follow the rules of uh keeping away from coronavirus and then you know they've been told if you get this virus it's gonna be dangerous and then you just say oh i know somebody was sick so they died would you think they will appreciate it and they won't so please guys mind what you say um, to somebody with sickle so or somebody who's living with another any other you know illness yeah so we should be careful with the comments that we give our fellow warriors or our fellow friends this is really um hard for us and we're just trying our best to live life to the fullest and when you know when we keep on being reminded that you know we can die and we are lazy we are what this is something that just gets to our last nerves and you know <laughs> get scared as hell so please guys mind what you say okay the last one is it's not the bad thing it's not that bad it's not that bad really um who told you it's not that bad have you met others have you met me have you seen how the super cell attacks you the crisis have you seen how that crisis attacks you so you know yeah i've heard people saying no it's not that bad it's not that bad it is bad it is 
why do I say it is bad? Um, because let me give an example of me. I have I think four friends with sickle cell. I don't know, five, I don't know. Yeah. And you know, we all have different experience. I've noticed that. For me, I had a stroke. I stopped walking. I'm using a walking firm. And um, I have at the end, I don't know how you 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 pronounce it fully words, but it's pronounced as at the end. And uh, from the other one, she has at the end, yes, but never had a stroke and walking properly. The other one, uh, experience of stopped walking she stopped talking about two years if i'm not mistaken but she's walking and everything is seeming to be okay she doesn't have constantly pain crisis and then the other one as well is perfectly okay no problem of walking she's walking fine um she's looking good but um no not bad she's just fine but the crisis attacks her in different way they, they attack her constantly and then the other one is also fine that the, the the crisis also attacks her constantly but she doesn't um she's walking perfectly and other stuff so you see sickle cell we may have the same condition but different experiences so if you see somebody who's with sickle cell but it, it they don't it doesn't attack them that much it doesn't mean that everyone is like her or like him we are different in some way we have different experiences we have the same thing yes but we have different experiences so never should you say it's not that bad because you can hurt someone you know that's gonna break their heart saying i'm feeling the pain and you're saying it's not that bad really so never should you tell us what's our patient it's not that bad it's not that bad no it is bad go out there and just search for people with sickle cell you will find them and that's when we know that this thing is real so sickle cell is real it's not a joke sickle cell is something that is real so let's read out there why you shouldn't say it's about that sickle cell affects each individual uniquely you may know somebody with now it's sickle cell however this does not mean that all other sickle cell patients have the same experience exactly i can use myself as an example i want i went 10 years without any crisis at one stage in my life however i last year last year however last year i was unwell more than i was well and spent about 200 days in the hospital see so just because it attacks someone you know very um fairly and other stuff doesn't mean that everyone is treated is treating them like that we have different experiences we may have the same things that's the same illness but it attacks us in different ways so never should you use a comment it's not that bad i hope you guys got some you got to hear these points i hope you've learned one or two things i hope it's clear i hope um you do this thing to a friend you never use these kind of words i hope i i come up with more um points on what you shouldn't tell a sickle cell patient but yeah it was really amazing talking to you guys i really had a, such an amazing um talk with you um I'm sorry for posting late. I was actually feeling lazy and all that stuff, but I'm now free. This video is ready to be published. Well, I love you all guys. Make sure to always support me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And also follow all my social media platform. Please, guys, I really need your support. I love you all. Peace out. One love.